like boats. I like driving them, fishing off of them, playing with them, building them, and testing them. So we jumped at the chance for a factory tour of Bass Cat Boats. This is Rick Pierce, Executive Ambassador of Bass Cat Boats. He is the one that invited me out for a tour. But the Bass Cat story starts with his parents, Ron and Jan Pierce. Fun fact, Ron Pierce was born in Nawada, Oklahoma. Ron's career took him to Mountain Home, Arkansas, where in 1971, he merged his experience as a plastics engineer with his passion for fishing, and Ron and Jan started Bass Cat Boats. The first company name they considered was in use elsewhere, and while talking about that, a cat wandered through the tackle shop where Ron and his friend Paul Lingle were visiting. Paul said, there you go, name it Bass Cat. Cats are fast, agile, and like to fish. And the name stuck. What started in a two-car garage is now a complex of buildings that produces Bass Cat boats, Yarcraft, and their trailers, as well as a repair facility, parts, service, administration, and R&D. Let's start our factory look with a little quiz. Here is a completed Bass Cat boat, ready for delivery. What part of this boat was the first one built? You may be surprised by the answer. The very first part of the boat built is the gel coat, the boat's color. Gel coat is a resin mixture with pigments that gives it a shiny color and a smooth, strong, hard finish that resists damage from UV rays, water, and abrasions, making it ideal for marine environments. The gel coat is applied to molds that shape the pieces of the boat. The molds are meticulously maintained and waxed before each use. When the mold is ready, the first part of the boat, the gel coat, is sprayed on. This includes hand taping of inlaid pinstriping. We didn't see the gel coating process because a late night shift does this work so that it's ready for the next step when the day shift comes in, applying the fiberglass. Layers of fiberglass are laid throughout the hull of the boat. What kind of fiberglass and how thick varies depending on the part of the hull. All specifically designed to maximize strength where needed and optimize weight. The fiberglass gets bonded together with an epoxy resin. Basscat selected their resin based on lots of testing of strength, adhesion, and durability, not price. Bass Cat pays a premium price to get the best performance. The transom is the near vertical rear of the boat that the motor mounts to. It also transfers the engine thrust to the rest of the boat, has to handle vibration, supports the hull, as well as many other forces. Meaning it has to be strong. Their transoms are exceptionally strong. They are thick made of many layers of special fiberglass, go across the full width of the stern, and are fiberglassed into place. No putty is used. Next, the stringer is added. These are like ribs that run the length of the hull. It's made of fiberglass into one solid piece. They give the hull strength, and they are a key part of a smooth, fast, and responsive ride. The stringer is also like a truss, that ties the hull to the floor, which is the next component added. At this point, the hull, the transom, the stringer, and the floor are all in place with wet resin and fiberglass connecting them. To bond all of that together into one strong component with even resin distribution, they put the hull assembly through a vacuum process. Plastic seals the outside air and a proprietary vacuum system pumps out the air and holds it at a specific pressure while the resin cures. So right now you can see it's covered in plastic. They're pulling a vacuum on this. You see the vacuum pump they got hooked up to it? You see? So they shot and laid all the fiberglass. They've got the transom back there set. This is your floor and your stringer system. And when all this is put in, it's bedded in that wet glass. They bring it out here, cover it with the plastic and pull a vacuum. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bond all these fiberglass parts together. 
any little any air pockets, anything in there extra, and that's all going to get sucked out. So their vacuum has to be just right. If they don't pull enough, they don't get everything out they need. They don't bond everything. If they pull too much, then they can separate, you know, the stringer from the hole and the floor is going to be a mess. So Basscat has a high target of 38% fiberglass content on all of their laminate structures. Recent tests show actual results of above 40% fiberglass content. Other parts of the boat, like the deck, dashes, and matching trailer fenders, are being constructed along with the hull using these same processes. Once the parts are fully cured, they are removed from their molds and move on for further assembly. Uh, so you can see right here, this is where the mold ends and the boat begins. You can see that difference. Where's that at? With this line? Yep, that line right there. Okay. So when they go to pull these out this afternoon, they've got a little set of wooden wedges they'll use. Boxes, like for storage and live wells, are fiberglass bonded to the deck, and the deck and hull get assembled together. Foam is added at different points throughout this stage, and done in such a way that all of it is encapsulated within waterproof glass. Here, a foam gun is used to inject foam and holes from the front to the back. Then it's smoothed off and the holes are covered back over with fiberglass. The foam performs several functions, including adding buoyancy, sound dampening, shock absorption, structural support, and thermal insulation. From here, the boat goes to finishing, but before it goes into the main assembly area, it makes a stop in this room where all the holes are hand cut. Doing this in a separate room contains the dust to this area. Carpet gets added next, and like everything else you see, it's selected for quality. It's 28 ounce marine carpet and the heaviest carpet in use in the industry. This is the main final assembly floor. Each boat has a custom build sheet, and racks are loaded with the parts and electronics to complete that build. The racks move along with the boat as it progresses through the assembly process. Most of us just see a boat, but as you talk with the craftsmen building these boats, you quickly discover the depth of thought and purpose put into everything they do. This is also true of their Yarcraft line, of deeper hull multi-species boats that are also built at this location, but in a separate building. That vision and dedication to performance and quality exudes from the leadership of Rick Pierce. Pick any part of the boat and ask him about it and get ready for a detailed, passionate answer about what they do and why. It could be about the live well, and he'll go into geometry, water quality, and fish biology, citing research along the way. It could be about the trolling motor mount, how the rub rail is attached, the console instrumentation, or any other part, including why they use custom screws. There is a story and reason behind it, and the point of that story always ends in making a better boat and a better customer experience. That's true about the trailers that they build here, too. As we walk through their trailer manufacturing, we learned about how they source U.S. steel made specifically for them, why they choose the tires they use, the details on their swing-away tongue design, and the steps they take to provide stronger bunks. Ask about the grab post, and you'll hear the story about its shape and how they tweaked it to dampen resonant frequencies from wind while traveling down the highway. We tried to explain some of these things here, but we couldn't explain any of it as well as Rick. Thankfully, you don't need us to explain. Check out the Bass Cat YouTube channel, and you can hear directly from Rick. You'll find videos on factory tours, technical tips, and other educational information designed to help you as a boat buyer, boat owner, or just someone who's curious about boats. We hope you enjoyed joining us on our visit to the Bass Cat Boat Factory. Special thanks to Mr. Rick Pierce, his employees, and our friends who helped organize our visit.
See you on our next adventure.